Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. This is the continuation of your week 7 module. Okay, let's start. So we get more probabilities here. Probabilities of union of two events. Okay, let's have this first example. So this one is a basic example because we can easily visualize the sample space, right? Tsaka marami na tayong examples ng rolling a die. So can you give me the sample space? Okay, it contains the numbers 1 to 6, right? Now, we get the probability that the number is even or it is a multiple of 3. So we list down all the elements here. Okay, yung set A, it contains all even numbers, okay? And then set B contains all multiples of 3, okay? And then what do you notice? They have an intersection. Ito siya, okay? Their intersection contains 6, okay? So that's why if I ask you to get the probability of A union B, we have this, okay? What is the probability of A? Three elements in A divided by the number of elements in S. So you have 3 over 6. What is the probability of B? You have two elements in set B divided by the total number of elements in S. So you have 2 over 6 minus the probability of their intersection, which is 1 over 6. Okay, here. If you perform the indicated operations, you will get 4 over 6. And then you simplify, you will have 2 thirds. Okay, so this is your final answer. Okay, now if we move on to letter B, okay, we have these two events. The event of getting a number that is a multiple of 2. And then the other event is the event of getting a number that is a multiple of 3. Sige nga, if set a contains all the multiples of 2, anong laman ni set A? 2, 4, 6, right? Okay, then si set B, all multiples of 3. So you have 3, 6, okay? So ito lang din yun, right? Okay, so the solution for letter A is also the solution for letter B, okay? So we now move on to letter C. Okay, so we list down all the elements here. Ito yung set A. Okay, set A contains all odd numbers. Okay, and then set B, all multiples of 2. So we have this. And note that they are mutually exclusive events. Wala silang intersection. So it's easy to get the probability of their union. Okay, so here, sinulat ko yung merong probability of A intersection B. Kasi okay lang na ito yung i-memorize ninyong formula to get the probability of union of two events. Kasi kapag wala namang intersection, ika-cancel nyo lang naman yan. Okay? So, now we get the probability of A and the probability of B. And we have this. Okay? If you add, you will get 6 over 6, which is equal to 1. Okay? So, 100% probability. Kailan ulit ito nangyayari? Kapag yung union ng dalawang events, kapag pinagsama ko tong dalawang events na ito, ang sagot yung mismong sample space. Okay? If you have that situation, the probability is always 100%. Let's have this second example. Okay? A card is drawn at random from a deck of 52 playing cards. And then, we get the probability of this too. Before we deal with this problem, it's nice to know the basics. Okay, what do I mean by that? For example, colors. Okay, what are the standard colors of a 52 card deck? Do you know? There are two colors. Okay, ito siya. Okay, red at saka black. Okay, ngayon, if I ask you, ilang red, ilang black? Okay, note that there are 52 cards in all. Since may dalawa lang kayong colors, all you have to do is to divide 52 by 
two. Hahatiin nyo siya sa dalawa. Okay? So, therefore, merong 26 na red cards at merong 26 na black cards. Okay? What about suits? Ano naman yung suits? Ano yung tinatawag na suits? Eto. We have four suits for a standard 52-card deck. We have, ano tawag dito? Clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades. My next question is, ilan ang clubs? Ilan ang diamonds? Ilan ang hearts? Ilan ang spades? Okay? Di ba we have four in all? Four suits in all? So all you have to do is to divide 52 by 4. Okay, and you will get 13. So, ibig sabihin nun, my 13 na clubs, 13 diamonds, 13 hearts, and 13 spades. Okay? Next. Paano naman kapag face cards? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Sila yung may mga mukha. Okay? So, yan. Jack. Okay? So, merong apat na klase ng jack. Jack of spades, jack of diamonds, jack of clubs, and Jack of Hearts. Okay? Yung next na face card, Queen. Okay? May apat na klase din ng Queen. And then, we have King. Alright? Okay. Let me show you a standard 52 card deck. So, para lang siyang numbers 1 to 10. Okay? And then, yung tatlong face cards. Jack, Queen, King. Okay? Yung 1, hindi talaga siya 1. Ang tawag dito, Ace. Okay? Ace of clubs, ace of hearts, ace of spades, ace of diamonds. So, I think we're ready to answer the problem. Okay? So, first question, what is the probability that the card drawn is an ace or a king? Okay? So, meron tayo ditong picture. Okay? So, ito yung ace. Merong apat na ace. Okay? And then, merong apat din na king. Alright? So, if you want to get the probability of their union, eto siya. Oh, by the way, meron ba silang intersection? Etong ace at saka king, meron ba silang magkamukhang card? Wala. Okay? So, they are mutually exclusive events. Okay? So, that's why to get the probability of their union, eto lang siya. Probability ni A, Ito yung probability of getting an ace plus probability of B, which is the probability of getting a king. So, we get 8 over 52, and then if we simplify, we will get 2 over 13. Okay, we divide the numerator by 4. We also divide the denominator by 4. Okay, now, we move on to letter B. What is the probability that the card drawn is a king or a diamond. Okay? So, again, may apat tayong king. Okay? What about yung diamonds? Meron tayong 13 diamonds. Again, from 1 to 10, and then yung 3 na face cards. So, that's why we have 13 diamonds here. Now, meron ba silang intersection? Meron. Ito siya. Yung king of diamonds. Okay, so that's why if we get the probability of the union of these two events, okay, getting a king or getting a diamond, we have this. Okay, again, this is the probability of getting a king. So that's why we have 4 over 52. This is the probability of getting a diamond. Okay, minus, this is the probability of their intersection. So what is 4 plus 13? You get 17. Minus 1, you get 16. 16 over 52. Okay? Again, divide the numerator by 4, you will get 4. Divide 52 by 4, you will get 13. So that's why our final answer is 4 over 13. So I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.